guys, it's Jen and welcome back to my channel. I'm really, really excited today because this is my very first episode of my new series that I've been working on for ages to prepare for you guys. K-Beauty Reviews with Me to Muse. As you guys know, I used to have a Try It Tuesday review series in which I used to review one product that you guys voted for each Tuesday. And I used to really, really enjoy it because of the interaction that I had with you guys. I really like to give you guys information and recommendations on products that help you to be informed as a consumer and um, to know what you're buying is actually worth getting. I'm very passionate about makeup, especially cream makeup. When I start talking about it, I talk forever. So this is an outlet for me to just do what I love doing, share with you guys my loves, K-beauty makeup, giving you guys information that I know is so important to you guys, especially as a lot of international viewers you guys are living overseas and you can't really test out the products yourself. So this video was kindly sponsored by Innisfree. I'm going to be really honest with you guys if any of these videos are sponsored because I personally am really, really careful about making sure that even if there are like tutorials and stuff that are sponsored, that's fine because I'm just showing you the products. But with reviews and my personal opinions, I'm really careful about making sure that it's something that I truly believe in and it's the same thing that I would say to my friends and family in real life as well as you guys. So I want you guys to know for sure that even though this is a sponsored video, I was really, really adamant on the products being the ones that I have personally chosen as my personal favorites from the brand. You guys can testify to that because a lot of the products here you guys probably have seen in the past months or even years of my favorites videos. So yeah, please know that it's going to be 100% honest, but thank you so much to Innisfree for collaborating with me on this as well. So yes, I'm super excited. And if you guys are excited for this series as well, make sure to give this video a thumbs up so I know how much you guys are anticipating this. I've got skincare and makeup products here for you guys. So yes, let's begin with the reviews. Okay, so here are my current favorite products from Innisfree. So I've got one skincare product and the rest are makeup products. So my first favorite from Innisfree is of course the Green Tea Seed Serum, which I have done a full review, demonstration, everything video of in the past as well. This is a serum which you use as the first step of your skincare after cleansing. It's meant to help nourish deep into the layers of your skin, delivering abundant moisture. It's enriched with fresh green tea seeds and squeezed green tea from the pure Jeju island of Korea. The bottle is really light. It's a nice plastic kind of container that is portable and it has a very handy pump applicator which pumps out just enough for one application. It does deliver ample moisture, not on its own, but to be used with other skincare products. It has a very, very nice refreshing green tea scent that has a very lingering, savory kind of uh, scent and tone to it. And the product itself is very watery, it's very viscose, but it absorbs immediately into the skin. And what I recommend is for you to sort of rub it in and then slowly pat it into the skin. A little bit like a melted gel type, so it has a bit of moisture and stickiness to it as well. A little goes a long way. And I think that this is a great product for both oily skin people to dry skin and combination. I personally am dry to normal on the rest of my face and my forehead gets slightly, slightly oily throughout the day. So I don't really know what to call it anymore. It changed a bit after moving to Korea. But for me, this works on both the dry areas of my skin and the oily area of my skin. It has good ingredients, but just to let you guys know for anyone who's sensitive, it does contain alcohol and of course fragrance. I personally think that this is an excellent serum for under makeup because a lot of times makeup can sit really badly if your skin is not moisturized well enough and it can get patchy. But this actually helps to prevent any patchiness and uh, make sure that it retains the skin's moisture levels even though you've got foundation on top of it throughout the day. So really, really great for dry skinned people, but also for oily skinned people because it's very light. It doesn't leave like a feeling of, you know, you've got something covering your skin or anything. It just really does a great job of moisturizing, great smell, great packaging. And so I definitely think it's worth the money if you're looking for a new serum that's fuss free and portable and pretty much compatible with all skin types. So this product gets 4.5 out of 5 stars from Me Schmooze. For its performance as a serum to moisturize well, would have probably given it a 5 star if it didn't contain fragrance. 
but I still love it. Next product here is my favorite primer from Innisfree. It's the No Sebum Blur Primer with Jeju Natural Mineral and Natural Originated Mint. This is meant to cover your wrinkles and fill in the fine lines as well as your pores and make it blurred out. So that of course your foundation, BB cream or whatever you go over on top sits much nicely and smoother. There are a ton of really great primers out there on the market but I definitely think that this primer lives up to the standard of many even high-end ones. It lasts quite a long time as well. It's a nice squeezy tube and the product itself is a light peach skin toned color and you can feel it as soon as you apply it. It's a little bit thick, but when you blend it in, it blends in really, really smoothly and easily. It really feels like it's covering the pores. So even on the back of the hand, you can definitely feel that the skin is really evened out and smooth. To make this product work best for you, my personal recommendations, one is that you've got a well moisturized base. You can't expect the primer to moisturize the skin for you before foundation, unless it is a moisturizing primer, but this one is a blurring out primer. So just make sure that you've got a nice moisturized base before using the primer. And secondly, use a little bit at a time. Just because it says that it blurs out the pores, some people kind of go overboard and try to use it like a magic thing. It actually says so itself to use Use a light hand because it may sort of like slide the product around if it's too much. Rub it in, let the warmth of your skin melt it into the skin and then use your fingers to gently pat and let it sit nicely. I think that this primer is an excellent primer for the price that you pay. It does a decent job of keeping the oil at bay as well if you have that kind of problem. Very, very slight minty scent to it. I would probably recommend this a little bit more for normal to combination skin people. But having said that, dry skin people, just use your moisturizer. So I give this product four stars out of five, but yeah, it does a really good job. So I highly recommend this primer to you guys. So the next product is my favorite cushion foundation from Innisfree. And I've been talking about this in my last two videos. So I'm not sure how long I should talk about it for. The Ample Intense Cushion in the cover version is what I personally love. Now for me, I like a product that gives a little bit of moisture, not too dry and matte looking because that can make you look older. So of course, something that's slightly moisturizing, but it's not too sticky that you can actually feel it on top of your skin just sliding around or um, not really sitting well on the skin. For anyone that's looking for an affordable cushion foundation that does a really good job of coverage, delivering a little bit of moisture and a sort of satiny glow from within that makes you just look very healthy and your skin just looks like it's in really good condition. And of course, the fact that it contains SPF 34 PA++ and has anti-wrinkle and whitening properties. So the product contains 15 grams and it also comes with the version of the spare refill. It does have good coverage, which is why I like the cover version. It does give a glow, but like not too much of a disco ball type of glow. Just a nice natural, healthy sort of flush and can be used for 12 months after opening. Um, it has a nice packaging that's very simple and light and portable and it doesn't pick up like ugly fingerprint marks or anything. So this cushion is something that I recommend to anyone who's looking for a decent cushion that has decent coverage and moisturizing effects at a very decent price. Um, if I were to give it a rating, I'll give it four out of five just because one, it contains a little bit of fragrance. I'm very picky, so a little bit of fragrance. It's not too much. And also perhaps if the sunscreen was slightly higher, maybe PA triple plus if, instead of double plus. So next product is something that I have done a whole review about in my Track Tuesday series as well. It's the Innisfree No Sebum Mineral Powder. This is the Jeju Natural Mineral and Natural Originated Mint Mineral Powder, which claims to help absorb oil and sebum on your skin to keep it nice and soft all day long. So let's review it. So it has five grams of product. You can use it for 24 months after opening it. And it's Yukchanan here in Korea, which is $6 each, around $6, which is super, super cheap. The packaging is a nice light mint colored little tub, which you twist up to open and it comes with a little puff, which is very decent as well. Now the powder is white, but once it's on your skin, it's translucent, so it doesn't have any color. But if you use a heavy hand, it can tend to give you a little bit of white cast. So just something to be careful of. It's extremely finely milled and super silky. So once it's on your skin, it leaves your skin feeling so soft. It's just amazing. It's like baby soft. Another thing is that it has a six free system of being free of paraben, talc, artificial colors, animal ingredients, mineral oil, and artificial fragrance. Um, it does have a slight, very, very slight scent to it, but it's really almost undetectable. It kind of smells a little bit like baby powder. It does a really great job of 
keeping your oil at bay and setting your makeup well as well. I think this is great for anyone who has oily skin or a slightly oily T-zone or anyone who works on camera and needs to get rid of that shine on their skin. Just my little tip for dry shampoo as well. It does a really great job at keeping your hair nice and voluminous or on that second day hair. I personally like to just tap that a little bit onto the lid and I just get a nice fluffy brush, blend it into the powder and tap off the excess and then very gently sweep it over the places where I tend to just get oily throughout the day. Even though it's five grams of product, which doesn't seem like much, it really does last a very long time because a little goes a long way. So definitely if you're looking for a powder that really does a good job at keeping oil at bay, mattifying your skin, making it soft, being really, really affordable and very travel friendly as well. Great powder to keep with you and it's certainly something that I can't live without in my own collection. So I think that I would probably give this four and a half or five out of five, which is awesome in my books. Innisfree's eyeshadows are just awesome. They're so cheap and they come with a lot of product that lasts for ages. The color range is also very nice. Okay, so here are the mineral single shadows. These are actually ones that I've had for ages. So these are 2.3 grams and these are my favorite colors from Innisfree. Number one, that's how on his side. And number 26, Kosohan Amondu. It's a nice sort of click open, really fuss free type of packaging that you can definitely carry around with you and not be afraid that they will die on you or break. So this color here is just a shimmery white color, which is great for the inner highlight or for your ego side, or even for just an all over eyelid wash if you wanted to use it underneath another more pigmented color. This one is a very nice warm almond brown with slight shimmers in it and really, really fine um, micro pieces of like sort of gold flints in it. The color is really soft and blendable. It's not like super dark or anything, but it's a great sort of transition color or a nice soft brown for days that you want to go for a brown everyday look that doesn't look too smoky. So Innisfree's eyeshadows, I will probably give four and a half out of five. I would give it a four if it was very expensive, but because it's only $5, I really cannot say much about it. But the only thing that I take of the half a star is that it could be a little bit more pigmented. But if you use it with a primer, it works just as well as other very expensive shadows. So I definitely give these guys a thumbs up and definitely check out Innisfree's shadows. So anyone who's been following me for a long time knows that I am a huge fan of lip tints. And my favorite one from Innisfree is the Echo Fruits tint, which looks like this. It just comes in this cute little bottle. The color is in number one cherry and it contains nine mils of product. It's a really watery type of formula and it comes with a nice dough for applicator. As I said, it is watery. It's not like jellish or creamy, so it's not super pigmented. There are some tints that stain very quickly and you have to work very quickly with it. This one does tend to do that a little bit, but it's not overboard. So you have a bit of leeway of time and um, a little bit of a forgiving aspect to the color not staining if you put it on the wrong place accidentally. You can also build up the colors. It does have a very sort of strong cute and yummy cherry type of smell to it. So I like this lip tint a lot from Innisfree. And last but not least is the Innisfree Skinny Waterproof Micro Cara Mascara, which I have reviewed in my last favorites video as well. This is a mascara you have to check out if you're into very precise application of mascaras. It's 2.5 millimeters, it's tiny, but it's not just for your lower lashes, but you can also use it for your upper lashes too. It's waterproof, so it holds your curl in place, budge proof as well. And it contains little fibers to build up the volume and length. So your lashes never clump. They look super neat and very, very defined and almost like you've just got false lashes on. And I'm pretty sure you guys will ask where to get these products. So you can get them safely from innisfreeworld.com. They have like global shipping and you can also get regular sales and discounts if you catch them. So watch out for those. So that was it for my first episode of K-Beauty Reviews with Me Muse. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope that you guys have a great time trying out other new Korean products. Let me know down in the comments below what your current favorite Innisfree product is. I would love to know what you guys use so I can try it myself. If you have any other requests for other Korean beauty brands that you would like me to delve into or want more information about, let me know down in the comments below so that I can curate the next video to be about that. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more videos in the future. And I will see you guys all in my next video. Tame do bayo! Ciao, ciao! <laughs> Suddenly, really, really,
Okay, wait. No, no, not yet. What? It's I not just your turn to yet. And then go. Okay, so I've got my fun. It smells nice too, and I mean the packaging, right? 